गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सर डॉक्टर गोपाल बाबू सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मॉड्यूल नंबर फोर एंड लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी टू थर्टी थ्री सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट राइट यूटिलाइजेशन एंड प्रोटेक्शन सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी टॉक्ड द डायमेंशन ऑफ एजुकेशन डायमेंशन ऑफ हेल्थ डायमेंशन ऑफ जस्टिस डायमेंशन ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन डायमेंशन ऑफ एक्सचेंज एंड स्टोरेज सो अप टू हियर वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड ऑल दिस डायमेंशंस नाउ टुडे इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस राइट यूटिलाइजेशन एंड प्रोटेक्शन सो इफ यू सी दिस राइट यूटिलाइजेशन सो फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द पर्पस ऑफ दिस डायमेंशन सो वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ दिस डायमेंशन ऑफ राइट यूटिलाइजेशन सो देर आर प्राइमरीली टू पर्पजेज टू एंश्योर दिस राइट यूटिलाइजेशन नंबर वन एंश्योरिंग प्रॉस्पेरिटी फॉर ह्यूमन बींग एंड एंश्योरिंग प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ द रेस्ट ऑफ नेचर सो एज वी टॉक्ट इन यू एच वी टू इन यू एच वी थ्री दैट आर बेसिक एस्पिरेशन इज हैप्पीनेस प्रॉस्पेरिटी एंड इट्स कंटिन्यूटी and with right understanding in myself i can have a feeling of prosperity and prosperity is feeling of having more than required physical facility and this required physical facility is required to run our body that's why this right utilization is required so i want to ensure nurturing protection of my body and for ensuring nurturing and protection we need natural resources so if we are right utilizing the natural resources then it will be available to all human beings it means this right utilization would help us to ensure prosperity enough physical facility required to nurture our body required to protect our body our body as well as body of our relatives also and also these resources are required to participate in larger order that's why this right utilization is required so if we right utilize the natural resources so they are going to help us number 1 ensuring prosperity natural resources required to ensure prosperity and number 2 it would also help to preserve the rest of nature so for these two purposes primarily this right utilization is required and you can think of whether we are right utilizing the things or not in present education system you can also evaluate whether we are focusing on right utilization of things or not so there are two dimensions of right utilization first preservation and protection of things that are being used or utilized so whatever things we are using or utilizing they have to preserved this preservation and protection of those things are required if we are ensuring both these two things preservation and protection it will be available for rest of the people in society and secondly identification of things being used or utilized so these two things are required number one i should be able to identify things which are important for us and number two we should be able to preserve and protect all those things which are required so if we ensure these two things then the resources would be available for the society with this now we can discuss right utilization so right utilization is required for physical facility body and self so we have to right utilize physical facility natural resources available around us we have to right utilize our body and we have to right utilize our self also so as a resources these three things available to us as a human being 
I am coexistence of self and body. Each human being is a coexistence of self and body. So, right utilization of self is required. Right utilization of body is required. And right utilization of physical facilities which are available around us also required. So, if we ensure right utilization of these three things, three natural resources, then a peaceful harmony can be ensured. Because if you notice, if we are not able to ensure this right utilization of the self, then you can notice a lot of chaos at the level of society, at the level of family. Similarly, if we are not able to ensure right utilization of my body, it means right utilization. In the lack of this right utilization, our body get diseased and I won't be able to participate in larger order at the level of family, at the level of society, at the level of nature. Similarly, this right utilization of physical facility is also required because I want to participate in larger order. And for participation, many times these physical facilities are required. That's why the right utilization of physical facility along with right utilization of body and self is required. So let's talk about all uh, three things how we can ensure right utilization of physical facility body and the self so right utilization of physical facility so why do we need this physical facility simple for nurturing and protection of the body so we need food we need clothes we need we need technical instruments technologies to nurture and protect of our body Similarly, I want to participate in the society and for this participation, I need resources, I need physical facility. So, right utilization of physical facility means nurturing and protection of the body and for participation in the society. So, if we ensure right utilization of body, right utilization of physical facility, then I can participate in larger order. And if I have physical facility in excess, then we can distribute it for the welfare of society with the feeling of relationship. It ensures harmony in the society. Then right utilization of body. <coughs> so it is very important part as a human being. I have this body as an instrument and through this body I can participate in larger order. That's why there is a need to ensure right utilization of body. So we have to right utilize my body because of because I want to develop myself, because I want to ensure growth in my consciousness. I want to self study and for all these there will be a need of the body. So suppose I am teaching this subject because I have this body and because of these senses available in the body, you can listen me. Similarly, you have body, you can express yourself and I can listen you. So for the self-development, for self-study, this body is required. A healthy body is required and for healthy body can be ensured with the right utilization of the body. So it is our responsibility to ensure right utilization of the body which is naturally available to all of us. Then second, with the help of this body, we can ensure fulfillment of obligation, duties towards family and society. So as we studied in previous lectures, we have some duties and obligation towards family, towards society towards this nature existence and we have to fulfill all those duties and obligations. So to fulfill all those duties and obligation, we need a body. We need a healthy body. So if we are using this body for fulfilling obligation and duties which are expected towards family and society, it means we are right utilizing our body. Similarly, for investing time and labor for the activity of production. So, if I am using my body for labor with rest of nature, 
आई एम इन्वेस्टिंग माई बॉडी इन प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस विथ नेचर इट मीन्स आई एम राइट यूटिलाइजिंग यूटिलाइजिंग माई बॉडी सो वॉट डज इट मीन राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द बॉडी राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ बॉडी मीन्स नाउ आई एम यूजिंग माई बॉडी फॉर सेल्फ स्टडी सेल्फ डेवलपमेंट इट मीन्स आई एम इन्वेस्टिंग माई बॉडी इन दोज प्लेसेस विच आर हेल्पफुल इन माई डेवलपमेंट इन द ग्रोथ ऑफ माई कॉन्शियसनेस इन द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम एनिमल कॉन्शियसनेस टू ह्यूमन कॉन्शियसनेस सो इफ आई एम यूजिंग माई बॉडी फॉर सेल्फ स्टडी एंड सेल्फ डेवलपमेंट इट मीन्स आई एम राइट यूटिलाइजिंग माई बॉडी नाउ यू कैन टेक पॉज फॉर टू मिनट्स एंड आस्क योर सेल्फ आर यू राइट यूटिलाइजिंग योर बॉडी यू कैन मेक अ लिस्ट एंड यू कैन नोट डाउन वेयर आर यू इन्वेस्टिंग योर बॉडी with people whom you are investing with your body are they helping you for your consciousness growth for your development of the self if it is happening it means i am right utilizing my body similarly if i am able to fulfill obligations and duty which are expected from family from society it means i am right utilizing my body similarly if i am interacting with rest of nature i am making effort i am making labor with rest of nature for production i am right utilizing my body it means in short if we are ensuring all these three points it shows that i am right utilizing my body so you can take pause for 2 minutes and think over it whether you are using your body for these three purposes or not if you are using <coughs> your body for these three purposes it means we are rightly utilizing our body then right utilization of the self it is again very important so we have already studied about this self about the activities of the self and we studied that at the level of imagination activity of imaging activity of analyzing activity of selecting testings are continuously going on in me so if i am able to right utilize all those activities it will be useful for my growth it will be useful for the participation in family it will be useful for the participation in the society so right utilization of self is to ensure right feelings and right thoughts for living with mutual fulfillment and we have studied how to ensure this right feeling and right thought in myself you must have gone through the process of self exploration where you are taught to explore yourself to explore your natural acceptance so with the help of natural acceptance i can ensure right feeling and right thoughts in me that will lead to mutual fulfillment so if i am able to ensure this activity of self aligned with natural acceptance it means i am right utilizing myself if i am indulging myself in the activities which are actually motivated by sensual pleasures or temporary happiness happiness it means we are not able to right utilize of my consciousness of this self so right utilization of this self means to ensure right feelings and right thoughts for living with mutual fulfillment now again you can take pause for 2 minutes and ask yourself whether you are rightly utilizing your consciousness this self or not similarly if we look at the priority then we can see and it is very easy to sense that right utilization of the self is the first priority because if i am in harmony then i can take care of my body with the feeling of self regulation then i can participate at the level of family at the level of society with right feelings feeling of trust feeling of respect feeling of affection to feeling of love and for such a harmonious participation the self should be in harmony that's why 
द राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ सेल्फ इज एट द फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी देन द राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द बॉडी सो आई कैन राइट यूटिलाइज माई बॉडी ओनली इफ आई एम इन हारमोनी एज ए सेल्फ एज ए कॉन्शियसनेस एंड विद द राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ सेल्फ एंड राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द बॉडी फाइनली आई कैन राइट यूटिलाइज द फिजिकल फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल टू एस सो इफ वी एंश्योर दीज थ्री राइट यूटिलाइजेशन राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ सेल्फ राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ बॉडी एंड राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ फिजिकल फैसिलिटीज देन वी कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन लार्जर ऑर्डर इन अ हारमोनियस मैनर एंड इफ ईच वन ऑफ अस एंश्योर राइट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ the self body and the physical facility it will ensure enough physical facility for everyone and there would be a possibility to live with a feeling of mutual prosperity with the feeling of mutual happiness <coughs> so if we are not able to ensure the right utilization of physical facility then it is indicator that we are not able to ensure right utilization of the self also so this is an indicator you can take it as a indicator if a person is not able to ensure right utilization of the self of the body it means that person doesn't have right understanding in the self it means that person is not able to ensure right utilization of the self so with the right utilization of the self i can right utilize my body and with the right utilization of body and self as a human being i can ensure right utilization of the physical facility so in this manner self right utilization of self is at first priority then right utilization of body and then right utilization of physical facility then what we can do to ensure this right utilization it is very important so before i continue this lecture you can take pause and you ask yourself what can be done at the level of individual what could be done at the level of family what could be done at the level of society to ensure right utilization of this self body and physical facilities so at least we can develop the wisdom to discriminate among right utilization misutilization and indulgence so with right education and sanskar we can help our students our generation to develop such kind of wisdom which may help them to discriminate among right utilization misutilization and indulgence so in the absence of this wisdom many people are indulged in sensual pleasures are indulged in a show of type culture where they are wasting resources so if we are able to develop such kind of wisdom it will help people to discriminate among right utilization misutilization and indulgence then to have the mindset and commitment to have a lifestyle which ensure right utilization so at the level of family at the level of society we can ensure lifestyle in a in such a manner that is it conducive to natural ecosystem so at least at the level of family we can ensure such kind of life style that can ensure right utilization so again you can take a pause and think over it you evaluate your present life style and see whether your life style supports this right utilization of self body and physical facility or not so it may be a little exercise for all of you then a minimum test for this is whether our production is more or consumption or indul indulgence so this could be a little test no? so whether our production is more or consumption or indulgence you ask yourself so if you uh, do this little exercise you will be able to find that we are more indulge in consumption we have adopted a lifestyle where we all indulged in consuming more and more rather than producing more and more and it is happening because of this lack of wisdom so we can ask these questions at the level of individual and at the level of family 
it is this which indicates whether we are asset or liability for our family or society so if we are able to right utilize the self body and physical facility we may be a asset for society but if we are consuming rather than producing if we are not able to ensure right utilization of self body and physical facility then definitely we will be a liability for our family and for society and even for the nature so this we can do at the level of individual so what we can do number 1 we can help people to ensure this wisdom and with this wisdom people can discriminate among right utilization misutilization and indulgence and once people are clear about this right utilization they will ensure a conducive lifestyle conducive to environment natural environment conducive to society conducive to right utilization all these things can be ensured with a right wisdom so at least this we can do at the level of individual similarly at the level of society we need to develop a culture and civilizations which promotes right utilization and restrain misutilization or indulgence or at the minimum level at least it should not appreciate it so at the level of society there is a need to develop a culture a culture where people gets motivated to right utilize the things rather than to consume more and more a civilization where people gets motivated to right utilize the self body and physical facility rather than indulging in sensual pleasures so at the level of society we can develop such kind of culture and civilization so we must promote this mentality of right utilization in every festival every rites rituals in every cultural functions so in our society there are many festivals rites rituals cultural functions many times in a year so if we promote this mentality of right utilization then it is going to change our civilization it is going to change our culture where people would be able to right utilize the things then very designing has to be such that it ensure right utilization and not otherwise so our social structures our technological system should be designed in a manner that it ensure right utilization of physical resources repair of facility that gets damaged in the process of use be promoted so we should promote re recyclability reusability we should develop technology that can use the used products again and again such kind of development can help ensuring this right utilization similarly designing utilities like machines in parts so that if any part is damaged it can be replaced rather than throwing the whole things so we can develop such kind of technologies where there is a possibility to replace the damaged parts rather than a culture which is going on today use and throw so rather than promoting this use and throw culture we can design things to reuse again and again then designing utilities with multiple use so as to increase the effective use so we can design things so that things can be used in a multiple manner so all these things can be done at the level of society so you can again take pause for 2 minutes and this is also a homework exercise for all of you you think this kind of design you think this kind of technology you think this kind of social structures where right utilization can be held so all this creativity you have to show then we can sum up the whole lecture so in this lecture primarily we talked about right utilization of physical facility right utilization of body and right utilization of this self so right utilization of physical facility is required for nurturing and protection of the body for participation in the society right utilization of body means i am using my body for self study self development 
I am able to fulfill of obligation and duties which are expected from family and society. I am investing time and labor for the activities of the production. If we are ensuring these three, it means we are right utilizing my body. Similarly, right utilization of self. So, right utilization of self is to ensure right feelings, right thoughts in the self. We can have this process of self exploration to find out right feeling and right thought. And we talked about the priority. And we explored that right utilization of the self is at first priority, then right utilization of the body, and then right utilization of physical facilities. So, if we are not able to ensure the right utilization of physical facility, then it is a kind of indicator that a person is not able to right utilize uh, his or her self and body also. So, this is all about the lecture where we talked about right utilization. In next lecture, we will study the critical analysis. We will having a critical analysis of this right utilization. So, students, thank you very much. I hope you have understood all these things and uh, have a good day. Thank you very much.